what the mainstream media was afraid to tell you about the news this week. This week, while the mainstream media was obsessing about President Trump wearing or not wearing a face mask at the Ford plant, again, this is the third week in a row, here are the things that happened that really matter. A new study from Stanford professor John Ioannidis suggests the true infection fatality rate for COVID-19 is between 0 0.02 and 0.4%. That's either seven times less deadly than the flu or 2.8 times deadlier than the flu, depending on your geographical location, your age, comorbidities, and other environmental factors. Professor Ioannidis also notes that data shows the average prevalence of the virus in contained or congested circumstances, like a cruise ship or a homeless shelter or an aircraft carrier, the virus infects on average 33% of populations, indicating that herd immunity may not require 60 to 81% of the population to get infected before the epidemic wanes. But did the mainstream media report the updated fatality rate and prevalence to you? No, no, the mainstream media didn't report on this survey at all. A 2006 survey of disease mitigation strategies, this written by several top epidemiologists, called lockdown-style quarantines a throwback to antiquated disease theory and said lockdowns should be eliminated from serious consideration as a disease mitigation measure. measure. According to the survey, and I quote, there are no historical observations or scientific studies that support the confinement by quarantine of groups of possibly infected people for extended periods in time in order to slow the spread of influenza. The survey says the negative consequences of large-scale quarantine are so extreme, forced confinement of sick people with the well, complete restriction of movement of large populations, difficulty in getting critical supplies, medicines, and food to people inside the quarantine zone, that this mitigation measure should be eliminated from serious consideration, end quote. But did the mainstream media report this to you? Nope. The mainstream media was totally quiet as our politicians ignore the science and impose lockdowns anyway. Doctors at New York University ran a study and found hydroxychloroquine with azithromycin, which is an antibiotic, and zinc cut death risk in COVID-19 patients by almost 50% compared to the antiviral malaria drug without the additional combination drugs. But did the mainstream media report this to you? No, no. The mainstream media was too busy freaking out about the fact that President Trump says he is taking hydroxychloroquine to report the facts. Updated CDC guidelines say COVID-19 does not spread easily through touching contamination. The CDC website now says COVID-19 is transmitted via person-to-person -person contact and says, quote, the virus does not spread easily in other ways, end quote. The CDC also says about transmission via surfaces, quote, this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads, but we are still learning more about this virus, end quote. But did the mainstream media headline this relatively bombshell update? No, no, they did not. An Ohio judge named Eugene Lucci struck down Ohio Health Department Director Amy Acton's lockdown order, calling it unreasonable, arbitrary, and oppressive. Lucci says Acton has no authority under any Ohio statute to lock down healthy people who haven't been exposed to the virus indefinitely. He struck down her order that banned gyms from opening because she deemed them non-essential. Gyms in Ohio are now able to reopen immediately. But did the mainstream media report this to you? The mainstream media barely mentioned it. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will.